A plan to improve the salmon population in California by raising young Chinook salmon in flooded rice fields appears to be working. UC Davis researchers are heading this experiment where they tag and release salmon in the dormant rice field at the Yolo Bypass. They want to see if salmon raised in this environment grow faster than the ones that grow in rivers. Researchers say the juvenile salmon released into the rice field showed the fastest growth rate ever recorded in the Central Valley. And the missing link in salmon populations has been this rearing habitat where juvenile fish can get strong enough and fit enough to make it on their arduous journey to the sea and back. So by getting fish onto these floodplains, we really think we have a game changer. Researchers point out that centuries ago, baby salmon grew all over the Central Valley, which acted as a large marsh when it flooded, and they're trying to recreate that. Right now, what we're doing is building a... An, an antenna that will track fish that have a microchip in them, which is the same kind of microchip you would oh, use yeah. for your dog or cat. The microchips are being inserted into 53,000 tiny Chinook salmon. From there, the fish are released into a new temporary home in the Yolo Bypass. We're doing this so that we can track their movement between different agricultural habitat types. It's all part of a collaborative effort among UC Davis researchers, local farmers, nonprofits, and government agencies to see if rice fields in the summer might make for good fish habitat come winter. This project's really neat because we are finally getting back to basics that we realize salmon need floodplains. After decades of building new levees and dams, less than 5% of Central Valley floodplains, nature's nursery for salmon, remain. This floodplain is used to grow rice only part of the year, making this project a great fit for farmers as well. The bypass is probably the toughest area to farm because of the flooding, because of the late flooding with everything that brings with it, the uncertainty, the weeds, the erosion and everything else. By having more uses out here, it actually underwrites a lot of the farming and a lot of the infrastructure. Scientists expect these fish to double their weight each week during their six to eight week stay. That means they'll be more fit for their tough journey out to sea and more likely to return home as adults to spawn the next generation of salmon. So we say that that's a, a win for farms, for flood control, for fins and for feathers because you're providing good habitat to both fish and birds on lands that really provide uh, high quality agriculture and some of the, the most important flood benefits in the state. Along the Yolo Bypass, Kristen Samos for UC Davis.